Hugging Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand. And we have an interesting project over in East Cobte. Gorgeous house, really beautiful house. Uh, love the terracotta tile roof, but I think the roof and the gutters are part of our problem. So um, this homeowner, Mr. Niels, had an, an issue with these windows rotting. And you'll see it when we get up close. And he's had different people work on the window. So a lot of times when you get these, these um, bay windows like this, and you've got a complicated roof design, water will come over the gutters and, and drop in here, which is what's rotting this mullion right here. You can see where somebody came in. See the wrinkling in that mullion piece? So a lot of people come in and tell you you gotta replace the whole window. We actually do so many of these. We have pressure treated mullions cut. That's this piece right here, the small piece that actually holds your window glass into the sash. So this part is the sash, this is the mullion. We repair those all the time. You can get different price windows. Um, a bottom window like this piece here installed by us is about $1,800 and that's custom made for us. We'd rather fix it. Uh, so when the guys come out and work on this house, you know, they're gonna take a look at every window on the front of this house because there's rot all over the place. So on that one, we're looking at the mullion. This window, we've had somebody repair it before with a poly resin piece, plastic basically down here, which is something you don't wanna do. We're not gonna redo it now, but he's got a lot of issues. And we talk about this kind of stuff where if you have a handyman come out and do this kind of repair, so this is part of the frame, this is the inside casing. And so what he did, this is two pieces and he came across with one piece. See where the caulk has failed? So this is just gonna rot again. And he made a horizontal cut instead of an angle cut. So it's gonna trap the water and rot it. There's so much rot going on with these windows that it really leads me to believe it's a combination of issues. One, it's caulking. Two, it's the materials that have been used haven't been back primed and sealed. So like here, you see all this staining right here on the brick? That just lets you know that these gutters aren't hung right and all the water is splashing down off the top. A lot of it is coming off the top of these gutters. So the first rule of, of order for us is we've got to come out here, put some water in these gutters or come out in heavy rain and see how they're draining. I think both sets of gutters need to be rehung. The bottoms of these gutters, it's going to be hard to see in the sunlight out here. Uh, but that left corner right there, if you look at the fascia board, which is what supports that gutter, it's what the gutter backs against, that's rotted. You've got a corner over here at the left front entry is rotted right here. Whenever you see that wrinkling in the wood like that, it lets you know it's rotted. And it's because the gutters have rivets and screws in the bottoms and they never sealed the corners. Uh, so that, that comes up all the time. Uh, and you'll see that in so many of our videos. Uh, th back to this window over here, he, this is the only window he's got rot on the inside of the sash. So we we'll replace this mullion where some handyman tried to piece it in. You can't piece in a mullion. You got to replace the whole piece. That whole six foot piece needs to be replaced. He put a piece of trim as the bottom mullion because he didn't know what he was doing. And that's okay. We'll leave it for now. But this corner right here has got so much water coming into it. It really leads me to believe. And if you look up above it, it's going to be hard to see it in the video. But this bottom plate and the sill up above for the next section of window is rotted out as well. So it leads me to believe that water is actually getting in. When you have a roof design like this one right here, if you look up closely, it's so hard the sun is right on me. I really apologize for this. But if you look at the bottom edge of those terracotta tiles, uh, they've got like a little, like a vent cap. But there's a gap between the vent cap and the tile. And so there's a little bit of, of what we call capillary action. Every time it rains, a little bit of water is getting sucked up along the bottom edge of that brick tile or terracotta tile and it goes up the bottom edge of the terracotta until it hits something which is probably the decking and then it slides down between the wall cavity and that problem is complicated for him because if you look at a lot of these um, these are called weep holes these little tubes under here they're clogged all the way around the house and the builder didn't put enough of them in so the first rule order for this gentleman is he's got to open up all those weep holes all the way around the house um, we can deal with all the rot that he has, but we've got to deal with and maintain the water. And my guess is that so much water is coming down, if you can see it, and I, again, I apologize for the lighting here. See the shading in that brick? There's no kick out flashing where that gutter hits that back wall, so the water's just cascading down right there. And that's creating the dark spots. See the dark spot in this corner right here? That's not just a shadow. That's where water's running down every time he's got a heavy rain. And you'll see that on different spots around the house. When you look at the gutters and he can come out and see it, whenever you see streaking across the front of your gutters, it lets you know that your gutters aren't draining properly and water's actually coming across the front. So once the guys are out, they'll break the ladders out, they'll go around and they'll actually examine all of his windows. I can't do that uh, when I'm out estimating jobs and today I didn't even bring a two-story ladder with me, but I'm usually, I don't have enough time to do that. So that's one part of his process. We've got to look at these windows right here. The mullions are rotted, I think, in these two windows. 
And these upper arch windows up here, right there and right there, they're gonna have rotted sashes on them. So the boys will fix those as well. Rotted sashes are extremely difficult to fix. We're the only company in Atlanta that I know of that'll piece them in, router out the bad wood, piece in new wood. The key to it is to back prime and seal whatever you're replacing so it won't rot again. I don't get to show this very often, I'll catch it on the way out, but this is done wrong. When you put corrugated pipe into the ground, it's gonna clog. And I think that's an issue he has in other areas of the house. He wants to redo this deck area. Somebody put what they sold him was a dry below system. This looks like it's just cement board that's been screwed to the bottom edge of, this, of the, the deck above. It doesn't drain anywhere. He thinks he's got an interior drain system in there with aluminum. I'm not seeing it. I don't, I don't see where it would drain to. Uh, I think he got hustled. I think what they did is, you can see where it's pulling apart right here. So if you look at this gap, this whole thing is pulling apart. And yeah, that's actually, someone screwed a, a masonry panel and made a ceiling out of it. They put this gutter up here to drain off the tile, but the tile is porous. Unless you put a, a weatherproof membrane underneath this thing, it's going to leak like a sieve and every house settles for the first 20 to 25 years. We'd remove this railing and keep it up here. This is all custom wrought iron, extremely expensive. They've screwed it in. We'll pull it up. We'll replace all this ceramic tile with tracks um, angled. He wants an angle finish but then we'll have to come back in with a pressure treated cap across here. This coping would never work. It's leaked like a sieve since whoever installed it. Um, it's a beautiful house, but these are complicated properties to work on. And whoever did this did it all wrong. So a lot of times guys will tell you, oh, I can do it because they want to make money and everybody wants to do that. You don't begrudge them that. But if it's outside your wheelhouse to do something, you shouldn't tackle it in the first place. This is an unusual project. Um, we'll be able to bid all of it except for his dry below system because I don't I don't know what he's got under there So once we figure out open it up and see what it is in there Then we can take a look at it and, and give him the rest of the estimate for that, but We're a good company to have a relationship with we've been doing this stuff for 27 years in Atlanta Some of the work that this gentleman's had done on his house. It's just a joke. It makes me sick uh, This is a beautiful beautiful home. So anyway, I'm Andy with Handy Andy. Let me show you this one drain thing uh, He's got one around here somewhere that was done right and people fuss about it all the time. If you're a homeowner and you've got a landscaper says he's gonna handle your water issues, just tell him no. Keep the flowers and cutting the grass and pruning bushes. Because if you put corrugated pipe in the ground, it's gonna clog and you're gonna have issues. So if you come around here, this corner right here is where it was done right. That's four inch pipe. Now I don't know where it drains to, but as long as he clears that once a year and when we come out and we work for him, that's what we'll do for him too. You just wanna put a high pressure nozzle down that thing once a year. My brother and I have been doing this stuff for 27 years. He reached us at 770-912-2829. See you at the next house. Bye for now.